our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
still he was not confirmed in his identity. They are not listened to ready to God. Therefore, on the road to Damascus, God himself, Jesus himself encountered him. He fell down. He saw the light. It is a brighter than day, brighter than sun because it was a during the day. He heard the voice. His friend saw the light but did not did not uh, hear the voice. When, when Christ said, Saul, 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 why are you persecuting me? And then Saul said, Who are you? I am called Jesus Christ. From there, he walked down to Judah's home. Three days he remained blind. The scripture says he did not eat even. <coughs> remained blind. The Holy Spirit and the risen Lord Jesus Christ continued to talk to him. Regarding the identity who he, who he is. Then, in prison, he was saying the reason for three days. I, he has not written fully, but so he must have seen so many reasons. Reasons. And when he saw these reasons, God was, Christ was talking to him. He was baptized, but he was not uh, confirmed fully. The Holy Spirit led to him in a desert of Arabia for three years. The desert of Arabia is a difficult place. He remained three years there, saw visions. Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and then started his spiritual journey. Constantly moving from one city to another city, another city to another city, one, one area to another area. At certain point, He wrote in chapter 6, chapter 16, Acts of Apostles, and Luke, Luke wrote, God, Holy Spirit did not allow to move them in Trisha and Musha, in Bithonia. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit said, stop here. Stop here. He waited there in the direction and the Holy Spirit led and then the main Holy Spirit sent the man in vision man from Babylonia come to us Lord opened the door of Europe he entered first time in Europe Philippians Thessalonica, all this area. Athens, he moved constantly. And you people are part of that history to Europe. Part of it. I'm part of it, Europe. <coughs> through the man, through the mission of the United Methodist Church in India. That's a great journey. Whenever you get time, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 11. But Paul is writing, when Paul is describing the encounters of David in his journey, the hardships, the beating, the breaking of sheep, the heart
concepts from the Christian brothers, concept from the government. He was beaten up five times. Still he continued and he wrote to Philippians, I am, I am moving towards the goal and that goal is that I may not be, may not be refused to enter in the resurrection of the dead. That was his goal. That was the destination. And he, I may not miss the resurrection of the dead. What is your identity? What is your destination? The spiritual trip in the Bible started with Adam and Eve. <clears throat> Every day you are walking in the garden, walking with God in the evening, in the morning, they must be talking. Suddenly the evil came, they committed the sin, their journey, their journey was broken. And they were removed from garden. They started another journey. That journey continued. Abraham, unknown God called him. He did not ask question like Paul, Who are you, God? He obeyed. Genesis chapter 12. He obeyed. Left everything, started his journey backward, forward, backward, forward. So many times he disobeyed. God helped him to come back. He moved whole canon, Egypt. But God was everywhere with him. Even he, in his journey, faith journey, God asked him to sacrifice his son. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He continued his journey. I mean, that, and, and the whole Old Testament is the spiritual journey. Station by station, prophet by prophet, judges by judges, Kings by king is a spiritual journey. You read carefully. In Israelite spiritual journey, they struck a great sea. They struck a great sea. In front, waters of great sea. In backside, the vast army with chariots are following them up. Egyptians, Pharaoh, they are trembling. Where to go? And God encountered. He divided the Red Sea, both sides like a wall of waters. They walked on a dry sand and there was a light, continuous light between the Israelite and Pharaoh's army. They cannot reach them. And as they passed, I do know how the walls of water were racing together. And all changes, everything was gone in the water. That is the journey where we encounter David. Lord stand beside, beside us. Just we serve the hymn. 
He all stands beside us. Mela, God told him, don't go and curse Israelite. He was on a journey. Don't curse Israelite. But in a lust of money, so much money Balaam gave him to curse Israelite. He said, no, I cannot curse. God said, no. Give more money. More money. At last, because of money, as Peter wrote in second chapter of Peter, his letter, because of money, lust of money, he went there. And on the way, the angel came with a swarm. <laughs> Angel tried to kill him, but his dog is saved him. Second time angel tried to kill him, but his dog is saved him. Twice he ate his donkey. Twice. Then God gave the voice to donkey. Why are you beating me? I am not faithful to you. See, the angel of the Lord was standing here to kill you, but I saved you. Then God opened his eyes. The scripture says, he saw the angel who surrendered. He went instead of God's he blessed Israelites. Join me. The lust of money will come in between. The luxuries may come in between. The entertainment may come in between. But Lord requires to continue our journey. Moses stand beside us. So many people have, are on the journey, spiritual journey. So many people. Thousands are martyred in the spiritual journey. Just I was ready to history on you, Indian missions of UMC, United Methodist Church. Lots of missionaries died. In young age, at the age of 21, 22, 23, you to play, you to dysentery, you to yellow fever. Husband is dying, but wife has continued. Parents have died, but children have come as a missionary. They face the situation and straight there. It is that it was their journey. Bonhoeffer came to America from Germany. It is Bonhoeffer. And he was preaching everywhere. And there was a Hitler in a Germany, Nazi. He ran away and came to America. One night, Jesus talked to him. What are you doing here? I call you to stand there in Germany. What are you doing here? You are a leader. He said, yes, Lord. All his friends in America, the theologians, evangelists, requested him, please don't go back to Germany. He said, no, Lord, talk to me. He went back. After some time, he was arrested. 
put in a jail. When the time came of his killing, he wrote that early morning I prayed, Lord, I followed you. And I'm ready to die in your name. Please forgive the executors because it's not their fault for you all this. Then we went there. Then they asked anything you want to do for your parents. No, I don't want to send any message to my parents, nothing. I want to pray. You pray, oh Lord, forgive all these people. He got up from his knees and thought, I am ready. He was killed. He was killed in a march. Till June, his parents were not doing that he's killed. They were listening to the radio in a June and there they saw the, there they heard the memorial service. Then they came to know that son is killed. This is the journey. It's a call from God in a journey to take up the cross and walk. Cross may be full of joy. It may be enjoyed in death. Hardships. We have said what missionaries in church this <coughs> And I, I was there. And we had a whole night prayer. The missionary said, <coughs> You are going to baptize one hundred and fifty persons, new seekers and converters. But no one ready to stand in a court for them. Because they have a government rule. They have to, all these people have to stand before a judge. A judge will ask them a question. I really want to be Christian or you are in law or you want something. And they have to know we have faith in Lord Jesus Christ therefore. Then they will give the judge will put the stamp, then you will be baptized. Not a single advocate was coming forward. That's it lets their whole night prayer. People wrote their names, what hours they will come. No one wrote from one to three night. It was blank. Two women saw. They were not able to read and write, but our missionaries wife taught them to sign their names only. They signed their names. They were staying from that village four miles away. And they have to cross the forest. What they told me, when they started at 11 o'clock, their husband got up. Don't go, because they were not converted. Don't go. He said, no, we'll go. Their husband took the stick and started to beat them. So much pain they started. They came at quarter to one, walking four miles in the forest in the night. I asked them, did you not have any fear of animals who never I personally saw the tigers roaming in there, in that forest. They said no. We had more. We are. We have more wild animals than the men and women who are against us. Then what happened? Nothing happened. We came very safely. Why? No one was with us. What they said. We felt 
then when we were walking in front of us, in back side of us, both sides, Jesus was walking. Then we felt. And we came here. Now at 3 o'clock we'll go back and we'll be, we'll be reaching around 5 o'clock and again our husbands will meet us. And then at 7 o'clock we'll go in a field store work because they were the daily, daily laborers. They don't work, them, they may not have the food. But that was the journey. That was the journey. The cost of journey. And lastly, Manipur, very famous. 300 churches are burned. More than 400, 400 people are <coughs> killed or born alive. About 100 Christian villages are destroyed. 60,000 people are in a refugee camp. So many are orphan children, their parents are killed. So many people, persons, spouses are killed. They are, they are having nothing today. Thousands are ran away in a forest. Why? They had an identity. They believe in Jesus Christ, the Lord, in the identity. And they had a sure destination to go where God is there. Your faith journey. What may come? What may come? Until today, it is going on. Even today, what is your journey? You may face persecution someday from Christians only. As Paul faced persecution from Christians only. What is your destination? What is your identity? Do you have a clear identity in Lord Jesus Christ by faith? <coughs> by faith. Who are you? <coughs> what is your destination? Our destination is to make Lord Jesus Christ when He comes back and will move them in the air to meet him at the first Thessalonian chapter and chapter 4 in the air whether they are not alive when he comes back we may be alive but when we want to move in the air it has been died will be able to raise again because scripture says who died in Christ they will raise who died that is a condition who died in Christ they will raise and move in air what is our destination and how are we going there the route, route is only Jesus said, I am the way. The route is only Jesus. Destination is only Jesus to meet him there in the air when he comes back. Whether dead or alive. Where are we? 
where I'll be heading for on this own identity. May God bless you. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, that you have joined us in your road to meet you there and are alive someday. And you gave us your name. Thank you, Lord. You gave us identity to enter in the kingdom of God. That day, Lord, stand beside us, walk with us, in front, behind, and both sides. Lord, lead us to our destination fixed by you. Bless your people worshiping here. In Jesus' name we pray. I am. Amen. Amen. Our church is sustained through this wilderness time by your faithful generosity. You can continue to send your offerings by mail, or for more information about setting up an electronic funds transfer, contact Roberta Kent or Pastor Abney.